Hey guys, so I got some very interesting comments from the, on the videos that I've made where I show how you dissolve rust using acid and uh, someone raised a, a question on well actually suggested that to investigate how much you can get rid of in terms of rust by just heating it and cooling it and uh, knowing that uh, the iron in itself as compared to the iron oxide uh, they expand and they contract differently much when you expose them to heat and cold basically then you start wondering and that's why also why you would um, heat a bolt or a nut to open it if you have it stuck on your car uh, well you start wondering how much can that do that action in itself so I'm going to show you what I've got here. I've got some of these uh, railway nails that are covered with one millimeter of rust. And I also got a bolt sitting in a nut and it's completely rusted together. And now to carry out this experiment I got one of these Red Max super torches and that's a propane torch connected with oxygen as well. So I can get the flame up well far above 1000 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to heat these ones up as much as we can and then I'm going to quickly cool them down so that the rust basically will expand a certain amount and the iron another amount and then they will contract different amounts and we will see how much of the rust that will actually just fall off and to be able to quickly cool them down after I heat them up I have got this bucket of water here where we have some protection on the bottom so it won't melt through the plastic and I also have liquid nitrogen which you can see down there on the bottom. Not that much, but it will be enough to immerse the top of one of these bolts or railway nails and get, get a very, very rapid cooling down to absolute zero, almost. So we're gonna start with this one. And as you can see, this one is covered with a lot of rust. Basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to heat it from this side over to somewhere there where you can see that there's a big flake sitting and then I will keep the rest up to here intact so we can immerse this part down in cold water or liquid nitrogen to see how much that actually possibly shatters off. You can see over here that there is plenty of rust over here. So now that we've had a good look at it, I will start the experiment. And we can see how it changed. Hang on. As you can see, to some extent this is true, I can see some small pieces are starting to sort of shatters off. And we can see the rusty nail is now, well it's far from blown yet, but we're getting there.
or you can see here now that we are up in a temperature which is far above where you can ever get with a heat gun or a normal torch but uh, it's glowing now in red so at this point we can say it's safe to say that we have expanded the metal the pure metal the iron underneath the rust to such an extent that uh, well we can't get much further up so if this is a um, a case where you can actually shatter off rust by expanding the metal underneath you won't have much rust left here now here on the top it's difficult to say you know what's rust and what's not rust here when it's this color and i'm just going to turn off the torch now and we're going to immerse it in the cold water and see if the rust has shattered off Actually, it looks like the iron is coming through. It uh, seems as we've been able to remove the rust. I will bring it up. It's cooled down now. So let's put it next to one of the railway nails that haven't been exposed to the heat and cold. We are down to the bare metal here. So, the suggestion given one of these YouTube watchers is uh, was pretty interesting. This um, to remove rust, it flakes off a bit, but to remove rust, you basically just need to heat it enough and then cool it down. Of course, that's going to be tricky in some applications where you can't access with this much heat. But um, the difference in expansion, since the iron expands more when exposed to heat than the rust does, makes the rust crack and just shatter off, fall off as pieces, and you will get down to the bare iron without using acid or sandblasting or any other means of uh, assistance. So I take this one here. And I show you this one. So this is what it used to look like. On the left. And this is what it looks like on the right. That's what comes out from heating and cooling rust very fast. So for this one, I will give it a try with the liquid nitrogen, but I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. You can see here, it's also covered with a lot of rust. Or actually, for the liquid nitrogen, I'll use the bolt. So, this is the nut that's been rusted together and it's sitting on this bolt. Now we will see if we will be able to heat it, cool it very fast and open the bolt.
as you see it's hot now it's about 2000 Fahrenheit and we're gonna take it over and see if we can immerse this in the liquid nitrogen so down there is pretty cold It takes a while to cool it down, but this is the fastest cooling you can achieve by immersing it in liquid nitrogen. So if the rust or the iron oxide in the thread should crack, it should crack now. I'm running out of liquid nitrogen because it evaporates so fast. But I've held it down there for quite some time now. I'm going to transfer it into the bottom bottle to cool it down the last couple of hundred degrees. This is how it looks now though. As you can see, all the rust is pretty much removed. You can see all the rust has been that is falling off on the bottom of the metal plate. It's quite a substantial amount. Now I'm just going to take it up, wipe it off, and we take a look at it. Well, you see, there's still. rust inside but everything is literally falling off all in here by poking a little bit with my nail here well this is definitely not um, a just unscrew story uh, although a lot of rust falls off when you heat it and cool it rapidly you can see here the metal is clean from the outside but you probably have to do this a couple of times and this bolt is still stuck Oh, look! Wow, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. It actually came off. By only heating and cooling it to very, very high temperature, around 2000 Fahrenheit, and then cooling it down to absolute zero, almost, in liquid nitrogen. Well, thanks for watching guys. Then we know this, that uh, applying heat and then letting your bolts cool down is clearly beneficial and improves your luck if you have ended up with a stuck nut or a stuck bolt. Thanks for watching guys and thanks for the tip for the person who suggested to investigate this a little bit more closely. Cheers!